Collector. Today we're going to take a look at Mark Hamill leaving uh, Star Wars and his feelings based on that. Uh, this is a real sad thing because it kind of insinuates that he's unhappy with what's going on at Lucasfilm in regards to The Rise of Skywalker. So I'm sure you guys have heard about this by now, but splazzing me, I want to take a quick look and, uh, well, do what we do best, complain. <laughs> All right, here we go. In the new Child's Play movie, it had its LA premiere last night, and Mark confirmed mm -hmm. that he's going to be in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, but he hopes it's the last time he plays Luke. Wow. Is really, 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 really going to be your last Star Wars appearance? I sure hope so. <laughs> Why? Well, because, you know, I mean, I had closure in the last one. You know, I mean, the only, the fact that I'm involved in any capacity is only because of that peculiar aspect of the Star Wars mythology where if you're a Jedi, you get to come back and make a curtain call as a Force ghost. Okay, pause it. Okay, so um, Mark Hamill's really saying here that he's unhappy with the way they've portrayed his character. Yeah, and I get that, but uh, it just sucks that it's the way it all had to shake out, definitely. Yeah, um, I did a video gosh, I don't know, four months ago, maybe even sooner than that, but um, where Luke had, or Mark had come out and said that uh, he felt like they didn't give him but sort of like one movie. He said, they only used me a little bit at the end of seven, and then I, I was in eight, but then after that, he says, I feel bamboozled, or uh, what was the word he said? Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. But he definitely was unhappy then. This seems to me like just another continuance of how he feels. Anyway, let's let's keep going. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think with him, like he said about the closure thing, the story is the important part. And he said in the past, yeah. he's like, we had the full story arc and we didn't need more. Why are we coming back for more? Well, we came back for more. And then he said he didn't like a part of it. Then he said he, he was fine with it. I think for him, like a paycheck is nice, for That's sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is your moneymaker, Mark Hamill. I think, well, I mean, he's... <laughs> I'm sure he has enough money. He's doing a ton of work still, yeah. especially okay, with pause. his voice work and everything. I don't feel like... I don't feel like he's happy, you know? Yeah, I mean, it really sucks that... I mean, like, we've been wanting to see Luke Skywalker for... Over 30 years. Yeah, thir yeah. And then we finally get to see him, and then this is what was written for him. It's just a big bummer right now. Now he doesn't even want to... He's got B. Skywalker. Yeah, he doesn't. Because of what even, they've done. Doesn't even want to be him. Mm -hmm. I mean, from coming from your generation, how does that make you feel? You know, you grew up watching Luke, but you also grew up watching Hayden Christensen play Anakin. Yeah, I mean, they're just just a bummer. I mean, um, yeah, just, just a bummer. Just a bummer. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bummer. I think what he's basically saying is that, oh, hornswoggled. He said he was hornswoggled. Right. Um, out of getting more than one movie. Because mm. um, like they say here, uh, the first one was Han's movie, the next one was Luke's movie, and Suppose, then the final... Supposedly. Yeah. And then supposedly the next one's Leia's movie. So, Anyway, we're going to continue when you're ready. Um, but yeah, for him to say, I, I think I'd be okay if this was it. Then maybe let, let this one be it. Yeah. He'll, maybe he'll just do that, again, like that Forrest Ghost thing where he just appears at the end, like, right. hey... Everything's cool. And Dr. Umer says it's time to wrap it up. <clears throat> um, Mikey says I'd rather watch Chucky than Star Wars. Sorry. Mm. But I wonder, I mean, we've talked about this before. You wonder if the plan <clears throat> changed for this last Star Wars with the, la with the loss of Carrie Fisher. Mm -hmm. so I think the whole plan was that she was supposed to have a huge role in this last one. And obviously, they figured out a way that she is going to be in the new one. But you wonder, because they've kind of had an element of the old cast in each one. I know Carrie Fisher's been in all, all three of these, but really the first one was about Han Solo. Yeah. The second one was really about Luke Skywalker, and I think this third one is really meant to be about uh, General Leia. Mm -hmm. So now that they lost that element, maybe they re kind of reconstructed, reconfigured things, so Skywalker could come back. I think the last one everything. So they said back in December of 2015? When did she die? 2016? December 2016? Uh, 2017? When she died. Um, they had enough footage for uh, The Last Jedi. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think it was 16, because then 17 Last Jedi came out, right? Yeah. She died right during Last Jedi, like while it was in theaters. Okay. That's 
sounds familiar. Yeah. So maybe yeah. So 18 solo, 17 was last year. So yeah, December 17, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but they said um, that they they're not going to use CGI, and they're not going to reconstruct her a la Grand Moff Tarkin and herself yeah, in right. Rogue One. So now they're kind of turning on. They're turning on what they said. They're saying, well, no, we're going to use some CGI now. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, it just goes to show that Disney's unreliable. I mean, you say one thing and then they do another, and then they don't follow through with it. So. Yep. Do you think it'll be good with the, or the CGI? Or? If they use a lot of CGI, with her CGI, like a lot of scenes, that's going to suck. I mean, it was good for Tarkin, but I don't know. I feel, it feels like it's hard to do a woman. I don't know why I think that, but because they didn't do Leia as good as they did Tarkin, in, in my opinion, um, I thought I thought they did good. The uncanny valley was still there. Uh, a lot of people could see into the eyes and and just knew. Well, plus she died a lot more recent than Tarkin did, or yeah. whatever. Uh, Peter. Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing. Uh, she died a lot more recent, so everyone knows that she's dead. Whereas some people that were like, "Oh my God, there's no Star Wars. I love Star Wars," and then you know they don't really. Yeah. So they were like, oh, look, there's some guy I've never seen, but he looks cool, and they're seeing uh, Tarkin. Yeah, kind of like the new fans. Oh, my God, I love Star Wars. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. But um, everyone knows Scary Fish is dead, sadly. But. Yes, that's true. I took your sister uh, to Rogue One, and I showed her. I said, hey, there's going to be a guy who comes on screen, and see if you can guess who it is. He's all CGI. She didn't, got to the no, park. she didn't know. I said, hey, Bailey, uh... That's the guy. She's like, no way. So I think if you don't know, yeah, Tarkin sells really well. Mm -hmm. Doing this with Leia, I, then it didn't turn out good. I've seen some deep fakes that look better than the Leia they did yeah, in that one. Yeah. And then um, doing it again now that she's passed away and she's older. Yeah. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they'll use much of her CGI, but I mean, maybe they will. Don't know. Hard to say, but it, they definitely doubled back on their work. Yeah, definitely. That's what we're hearing. And now we've got Luke Skywalker not even going to... I mean, he's going to be a Force ghost. I don't want to fucking see a Force ghost. No. I want to see Luke alive, whip out that green saber, go to town on some freaking, you know, stormtroopers, mm -hmm. wreck Kylo's world and teach him to spank his ass and teach him a <laughs> lesson. Yeah, totally. Um... And, and just rock the world. I want to see freaking Luke go up against Palpatine alive. At least Luke alive. That'd be dope. Um, I'd be okay with Palpatine alive if Luke was alive. Mm -hmm. And because Luke never really had to fight Palpatine. No, 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 he didn't. No. That would have been cool. Nope. Master against master again. Yeah, that would be awesome. Well, let's finish this up. I know. I think J.J. Abrams is in like recovery mode, trying to figure, yeah, out, how to, trying to figure out how to yeah, recovery things they did from his perspective, maybe clean up uh, right. a few things and straighten some storylines out. Oh, yeah. dance around like it. He's been associated with this character for over 40 years. I can understand wanting to hang it up, his lightsaber. Uh, Rich says, uh, Mark has a lot of stuff uh, going on. But imagine from his position, going from a, uh, a point in time when there was none of this, none of right. what we have now with like the franchise madness and these characters returning for all these different stories. When he did A New Hope, Nobody knew what it was going to yeah, be. Yeah, that's true. They all thought it was going to be this silly yeah, little like, thing, yeah, and a one-off, and that's it. Yeah. So, you know, at this point, how many, like 40 some odd yeah, years like later? Yeah, 42 years. Yeah, because it's 1977. Right. It was the first. I'm sure he's probably just like, all right, well, I, it's fine. Like, if we don't do another one, it's okay. Mikey says he's simply over it. I don't think he's over it necessarily. Like Luke Skywalker is always going to be part of his and, life, and people and are always going to come up to him. And he does character. embrace it, right? right? Like he, you imagine like the emotional whatever ups and downs he's gone through with that character. He embraces it now. He knows that there are fans that love that character and that love the franchise. He loved like, it's, it's him. He loved playing Luke. Yeah. This but says quite a bit. If decide to write him off, I think he would be fine. Here's the, the last comment. Giselle says, we'll miss you, Mark. May the force be with you and always. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Luke. Go what ahead. sucks about, uh, about all this is that before episode seven came out, he was all like, oh yeah, I would totally love to come back as Luke. It'd be so amazing. And then he did, and then he uh, after seven he was probably you know okay so in this movie I wasn't into that much but you got to build it up right yeah and then finally eight came around and after really really wanting to be Luke again he realizes 
this sucks, this is not at all the, re the direction it should be going in, what do I do? Literally I mean, you can't arguing. Leave you're contracted. But li literally arguing with the director over the damn script. Mm -hmm. and, and Ryan is like, up yours, man. Which sucks. Laughing at him while he was acting, getting him to play with them Mercamil boobies. Sucking the milk. That was the worst part of the movie, I think. That was really degrading. It was degrading. Emasculating. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, guys, that's, uh, that's our opinion of it. That's a straightforward opinion. And, uh, anyway, just couldn't resist this one. Um, so, thanks for joining us. Um, please remember to like and subscribe and comment below so we'll know what you're flipped out about. Exactly. Thank <laughs> you.